time staff member here at Sheriff Caressa, and today we'll be doing our slot meeting. So we have great news. Janet, our mama slot, actually came down, and you can see our new baby, Bobby. And then we also have dad slot over here asleep in the toilet. Now, during this live interaction meeting, it's just that interactive. So make sure you're asking questions to try to answer them if you know the answer to them. And if you have any questions or want to see a closer look at the baby, mom, or dad, just let us know. All right, let's get feeding. So like I said, this is Mama's Loft, Janet. And then her baby is actually right here asleep on Mama. She'll move her hand. You can get a hand in there. And then right down here we have Dad, Jack. Looks like he's kind of sleeping, so we'll see you wake him up to see if he wants to eat. Now Jack is a lot slower eater than Janet is, and he mainly really likes the eggs. So get that in his mouth here in just a minute. Now, sloths can live to be about 20 to 30 years old in captivity. They don't live that long in the wild just because there's a lot more predators and they can kind of get attacked. Some of their biggest predators are ocelots and jaguars, or even birds like harpies or crested eagles. Um, most of the ways that they die is that when they come down from trees to go to the bathroom, that's when animals will get them. Otherwise, they're so camouflaged in the trees that animals can't see them. So the bathroom is their most leading cause of death for sloths, unfortunately. Uh, the reason they have to come down to the bathroom or come down from trees to go to the bathroom, we don't know. <laughs> um, even in captivity, they still like to do it. That's actually what Jack is asleep in right now. It's their litter box. You can litter box train a sloth. Uh, they do go to the bathroom only once a week, so that's kind of nice. Anna um, asked, what do sloths eat? What do sloths eat? That's a good question. Um, so in the wild, they only really eat leaves. There's not more research on that data just because they're nocturnal and they're hard to study because they're hard to find. But if you look in our bowl right here, we have green beans, cucumber, eggs, sweet potatoes, and romaine lettuce for them. And because she just had a baby, they're getting uh, triple their diet from when the baby starts eating. Now these are two toad sloths, all of them we have three, like I said. We do have another one named Jinx, who's their old daughter, older daughter. She's by herself in the shed, just because we didn't want Jack to try to mate with her or anything. It wouldn't be healthy for them. On average, sloths do weigh about 14 pounds. I think ours are a little bit heavier since they probably don't work out or have to exercise as much as sloths in the wild. Just kind of depends. Now they do like hot and humid air, especially to toad sloths, but we used to like tropical weather. They kind of live in like South America, Central America. They want to know how old all the sloths are, including the baby. Uh, the baby's a little over a month. And then Janet is a little bit younger than Jack. She's only about nine, I believe. And then Jack is about 12. And then why are they so slow? That's a good question. So the reason they're so slow is their metabolism just takes longer to like digest food and stuff like that, that they can't go faster. They just don't have the energy in them to go faster than that because it takes them so long to digest food, which is why they only go to the bathroom once a week. So if they did go faster and have a faster metabolism, they could be a little bit faster. Now, it does shock people. They are a little bit faster than are portrayed in movies and stuff. We don't want green movies. Sorry. <laughs> so they can, their biggest thing is that they can drop their two front limbs and kind of hang back and kind of scare you that way. Otherwise, that's pretty much as fast as it can be. They can actually run, which just surprises most people. When they go down from trees and go to the bathroom and a predator's coming at them, they can actually run backwards on their hind legs. Now, they usually don't do this because no one can see very well behind them, so we don't have eyes back there. So they usually get hurt more than it's helpful for them to get away from the predator. So they usually don't tend to do that. And then they want to know how old Jinx is and how many times a day we feed them. Uh, Jinx is about four. We feed them once a day. Like I said, they are getting double their diet since they have the baby and she needs it because she's nursing. The baby will spend the first year or even longer for two toes locks on the mom and not become independent for a little after a year. Um, Jinx gets her own little bowl. It's probably just like one fourth of this. <laughs> and then how long does the baby stay on the mom? So the for two toes locks is a lot longer for babies to become independent. They usually stay on the mom for a little over a year. And they'll not even get off her the first time they're born. The minute they're born, they're on top of the mom and they're just nurse and feed off her. Um, probably in the next six months, 
It's only about a month old. We'll start seeing Bobby, the baby, start eating some actual food when mom comes over to the food bowls. How big do they get? Um, so they only weigh about 14 pounds in general. Uh, now two toe slots are bigger than three toe slots. Um, they think it's just their eyes are bigger, their heads are bigger, their ears are bigger, um, their arms are just generally bigger. So they're kind of the biggest out of the slots. Actual size I'm not sure, but they're just usually the biggest ones. I also think they're the cutest ones. And Isabella wants to know why their nails are so long. So their nails are so long so they're able to grab on and put stuff. So you can kind of tell how she was climbing up there, so they don't have really any fingers. They just have those claws like this. That's how they'll grab onto the roof like this and be able to climb up ever so slowly. And they have it on their feet too. And then they just kind of curl into a little ball like that and go to sleep. So I'll spend most of their time sleeping. So this is usually their most inactive time. Uh, they're usually most active at night, and that's why I usually put the food in the bowls, but we still try to feed them to make sure they're each still eating them and that they're okay. Uh, now, for conservation status, they are of least concern. They're not endangered or anything. Uh, the biggest harm to sloths are themselves when they go to the bathroom. Otherwise, they really aren't too much of a concern. And Gloria wants to know, where do you get the sloth? Uh, so most of our sloths came from someone who used to have them as pets. Uh, that's where most of our animals come here from Sharkarosa. We are like a rescue. We try to take ones that people couldn't take care of anymore, didn't realize how long they lived for. In the state of Texas, you can pretty much own almost all exotic animals. As long as you have a permit, you don't even necessarily have to have an enclosure for them. Except for unless it's native to this land, to Texas, you cannot own it. So most of our animals were someone's pet, unless they were born here. So we don't spay or neuter our animals unless they're with their sibling, just because we believe if they're happy and healthy and wanting to mate, then they should deserve that right too. And then Aaron wants to know if they're soft. They are not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the most shocking is when people, when we have our sloth encounters, is that they aren't very sloth. They kind of feel kind of wiry and kind of dirty, but that's common for them. Most sloths in the wild were actually growing moth, moths on them and fungus and stuff like that since they stay in trees for so long. So usually, no, they're not very soft and they're kind of gross, but they're still very cute. And then Nikki wants to know what their favorite thing to eat is, and Abby wants to know if they have tails. Uh, so that's a good answer, the first one. So Jack's favorite thing is eggs. He loves eggs. That's what we mainly try to feed him. He'll sometimes eat sweet potatoes, but he prefer eggs. And then Janet, on fruit days when we have apples and green beans and grapes, she really likes grapes and apples. Otherwise, sweet potatoes and cucumber. I've never gotten them to eat the romaine, but every time we come in to clean, most of it's gone. So I think that's the thing they like to feed themselves. Um, now, Abby asking about tails. Sloths actually do have tails. Um, that's the most shocking thing about them. It's somewhere on their butt. I tried to point it out, but neither one of them is in very good position to do so. Yeah. But two toe sloths actually have a shorter tail than other sloths. And then. Lindsay. How can you tell the difference between a three toed sloth and a two toed sloth? So it's actually a very good question. So, in my opinion, and this is just mine, two toed sloths are a lot cuter. A hmm. uh, three toed sloth will have a weird light color marking right here and have smaller eyes. It kind of looks like they have like a bowl cut where like someone put a bowl on their head and then cut their hair. Um, otherwise, two toe sloths usually look like this. They kind of just look like little old men where they kind of just have long hair and they're very cute. If you can get a look at their nails, that's also a very good way to tell. Now, sloths have teeth, but they don't have front teeth like us. They only have like canines in the back teeth. So chewing for them takes usually a long time if they have to chew, on top of them already being super slow. And then Wyatt wants to know, why is the dad so sleepy? Uh, the dad is so sleepy since he is older. He's realized that sleep is the best thing of life. So he's trying to get as much of it as he possibly can. Uh, why he likes to sleep in his toilet, I'm not sure. Um, that is just usually one of his favorite spots, or he likes to sleep in his food bowl. These are his two favorite spots. But one of the reasons could be they are nocturnal, so even though we do try to feed them just to make sure that they're eating and they're healthy, otherwise it's hard to keep track of their behavior and activeness. Um, he's probably like, I ate a little bit, now leave me alone, I'm good. They want to know how big they get, like a full size. 
So Janet is full size. I would say she's probably a little bit bigger than the average sloth. Because you can get a good look at Jack. He's a lot smaller. Um, she's also a lot lighter than him. But that's usually about full size. I would say they're probably a little fatter than the average sloth would be. Just because they don't have to do as much work as sloths in the wild have to do. Um, sloths in the wild we usually climb from tree to tree. Vines going everywhere they need to go. Where these guys, uh, she mainly hangs out up here until she comes down to sit in the chair. And he mainly sits in the litter box until he gets up. And then we do have a request to look at one of their ears. Their ears? <laughs> Come on over here and try to take a look at Jack. It's right, right here. They do have ears and that usually confuses a lot of people too. They want to know, let's see, Jocelyn, Jocelyn wants to know if they yawn and if they have predators. They do have, they have lots of predators. <laughs> um, they really only eat fruits, veggies, and leaves. Um, so their biggest predators are ocelots, jaguars, and then some big birds like um, harpies and crested eagles. Those are the ones that get them the most. They still can be eaten by snakes and other stuff like that, but those four are the ones that get them the most. Um, Sloths do yawn sometimes. Not too much because they spend most of their time sleeping. <laughs> so it'd be weird for them to wake up and yawn and then go back to sleep. But at night, if their tiles are yarn, I've seen the baby yawn at least the most. Usually babies yawn a lot, but not too much the parents. And Gloria wants to know if sloths get along with other animals. Uh, sloths are actually very social. Um, if you have an animal that's in the same region as sloths, like we have squirrel monkeys, they're kind of from the same area. They could actually be housed together as long as the squirrel monkeys are nice. Mm -hmm. Monkeys can be a little mischievous. Um, but usually sloths, they're not going to care too much if you put them with something. The biggest thing you do have to make sure that whatever the other animal is won't infect the sloths or make them sick because sloths have a very sensitive immune system and can get sick easily. That's why they're in this enclosed area and we have to spray our our feet every single time you come in here just because they have very sensitive bodies. And Patty would like to know if she can come help you feed them or if you can come interact with them in any way because her daughter loves sloths. Unfortunately, right now, for obvious reasons, we don't have our sloth encounters going. But usually when it's beautiful, hopefully this summer, and it's nice and warm and above 70 degrees, we have our sloth encounter where you can come and feed the sloth. You can't hold them, unfortunately, one, they're very heavy. Two, it's not fun. They don't like it. <laughs> they're made to be upside down. Their fur actually grows that way. Their whole body is fixed to be upside down like they always are. So you can't hold them, but you can feed them and take as many pictures with them. And you actually get to do that with our daughter, Jinx. Now, if you want to do this yourself, you can always work here. And once you're 18, if you are 18, you can apply for an internship or volunteer here. Jonah wants to know how they have such a good grip while climbing. So that's a good question. So their hands are kind of like this, and then they have two claws, so it's like a little hook. So even if they only get their claw on it, it's a good hook, and they always have three points of contact, usually with one hand moving. So they've always got a good grip with only like one part and not holding on to anything to grab on something. The only time that doesn't work is when they grab onto their own limb because sloths are not crazy smart. That's also one of their causes of death is that they will fall from trees. <laughs> Lorena said, how do they communicate? That's a good question. So one of the ways they communicate is they, they actually can't. So that's one of the ways they have to come down to trees and they go to the back room is that that's how a male during mating season will smell that there's a female in that tree and they'll go to them that way. Otherwise, they don't actually have any <laughs> communication that they do. It's just more... <laughs> which is why they have such like a big, silky nose. And Emily asked, what do they eat in the wild? So in the wild, two-toed sloths mainly eat leaves. That's for most sloths. They mainly only eat like plants or vegetation like that. Um, Diet on two-toed sloths is like very, there's not much about it just because they're nocturnal and they're hard to do research on because you can't find them. Um, even though male sloths can smell out a female, our nose are not as good as animals and we can't smell them. So usually if we find a sloth, it takes months of trying to watch them and research them of what they actually eat. So as far as we know, fruits and veggies and that's about it. And Lori asked, how is a baby doing? 
Very cute. <laughs> uh, he's up here with mom. His mom will show him off. You can kind of see his little arm right there. Now when babies are first born, they are completely brown or solid black and then they grow into their colors like their mom and their dad. Now even though we named him Bobby, it takes about six months to actually know the sex of a baby. So we're hoping it's a boy, but that name can go either way. And Lindsay asked, can sloths swim fast? Huh? Lindsay asked, can sloths swim fast? They are incredible swimmers, actually. And how long do they live for? Uh, they can live up to 20 or 30 years in captivity. Usually around 10 to 15 in the wild, just since they're very easy prey. Hi, you got messy things. You got messy things. And then are we open tomorrow? Unfortunately, we are not open tomorrow. Um, we've been closed. We have to close just because the governor has said so. Uh, we will be doing this every single day, though, and asking for donations just to help support us since we are a nonprofit organization and we have animal care staff that are here that have to get paid to take care of the animals and make sure that we are taking care of so we can take care of them so we can get animals for the food. Since our donations from Walmart and Tuesdays and Thursdays, we seem eventually going to get less and less just with the our craziness that's going around so we won't be open but we will be doing videos like this every single day so if there's something you want to see make sure you post it in the comments below or you let us know on our Facebook page or Instagram and we'd love to do it for y'all this was actually a suggestion yesterday from someone that they want to see more slots which I understand because they are very cute <laughs> an endangered animal they are not they are the least concerned which is all the way totally fine side of the conservation status scale harm to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hope asked, where do they usually sleep? Uh, they usually sleep in trees in the wild here. Jack will sleep right here, right here, or right here. Those are his favorite places. In his food bowl, in his toilet, or on the steps. And then Janet usually is always sleeping on up there, or she's sleeping directly on top of Jack because she's very protective <laughs> over him. And then they want to see the baby again. And they say their faces are very cute. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see if we can get mom to help me out. Fun but odd fact, the booty hole is how you actually tell what sex they are. So I don't know if y'all wanted to know that, but now you do. <laughs> I don't think they want to see. <laughs> no, no one answered. How long how long do they sleep for? Uh, they sleep most of the day, so I think it's like over fifteen hours. They only are up for like maybe two or four hours. Do you think that sloths will ever go extinct? Um, I don't think they're ever go extinct. I think they're possibly evolved to like a smaller sloth, a more adaptable sloth, or eventually they become like a small thing that's in the tree, like a lizard or something. Uh, back where dinosaurs was around, sloths used to actually be big as elephants and they would eat almost like whole trees. So I think they'll just keep getting smaller, smaller, slower, and cuter. I think that's the goal until they're like little household rats. Alright, two more questions and then we'll let these guys go to sleep and just give them their food. Alright, how do they grab their food with their claws? So, a lot of their food is cut up into little lines like this, like pencil-sized foods. 
except for the green beans. Uh, that's so they can get it into their mouth, and then once they have, they can kind of hold it with their like little claw like this, and they'll just hold it in their mouth and eat it. Uh, most of the time when we hand feed them, we'll make sure it's in their mouth, they chew it a couple times, and then we'll let go. And then one more question. She wants to know how um, she's hanging up there. How's she hanging up there? There is a rope right here. If you can see it, she's got most of her little tummy on that. Otherwise, her paw is wrapped around the one ladder like this, and then she has her other one free to grab on and do whatever she likes with it. All right, guys, thank y'all so much. Once again, we will be doing this every single day. Make sure you donate to help support us. The animals need it. I know I would love to see them keep getting fed and that we can take care of them. Uh, once again, we aren't open tomorrow, but we will be posting videos every single day. We'll try to announce it, so make sure you're on there. My name is Bailey. Thanks for watching. You feed the slops. Y'all have a good day. Bye.